Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to check eSIM supported devices. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you're wondering if you can activate and install an eSIM on your specific phone, I'm going to walk you through all those steps. The first thing that you can do is you can just open up Google and type in basically your phone, which model you have, and eSIM compatibility. Or you can just find a list. You can see on here, basically this is a list of every single phone that has eSIM compatibility. So everywhere from iPhone XR to iPhone 15 Pro Max, and then they have a list of Samsung Galaxies S20, S22, 23, 24. And then if you scroll down Google Pixels and a bunch of other phones as well. So that is one option, but you can also just see if it pops up as an option on your phone itself. So I have an iPhone, so you can head into your settings here and you'll see right under Bluetooth is cellular. You can tap on it. And the key is if you see the option that says add eSIM, I can tap it right here. Basically, it is active and available for your specific phone. So set up a cellular, you can transfer a phone number or you can just basically add that phone number instead of a physical SIM card, use an eSIM. So you can transfer from a nearby phone or use a QR code to enable it. These again will be provided by your cell carrier. Now, another option is if you have a Samsung phone, you can basically just go through the process and it says to activate your eSIM, just go to settings and connections, tap on SIM card manager and add a mobile plan. So each phone, depending on what phone you have, whether it's running Android or another operating system might be a little bit different but just search for it and you'll be able to go through the process of adding it. Now, keep in mind some cell carriers make this a little bit more difficult than others, but you will need some information from that cell carrier. A lot of times they'll give you that little QR code, or you might even need to call them to activate that eSIM on your specific phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out and I'll catch you on the next one.